That's right, Blue Protocol is real and it's actually happening. Today we had a huge stream for Blue Protocol which revealed a bunch of information that fans have been eagerly waiting for to hear for quite a while. So in this video we're going to go over all of the details that we've learned from the stream so you know exactly what's going on with Blue Protocol. One thing we have learned from the stream is all of the classes that will be appearing in the game. Don't worry, we'll go over all of them in this video so let us know which one are you eyeing to play first. And of course do click like down below to show support for the video and click subscribe and the bell so you don't miss out on any of the gaming news updates from us here on the channel. First off, let's not waste any time and drop the biggest information on you. Blue Protocol will be releasing in 2023 and it has currently only been announced for the Japanese region so we don't have an official announcement of the global release yet. However, they did have a clear hint that we will be getting a global release announcement very soon at the Game Awards as they have said that global fans should wait for the Game Awards as they will have some big information for us there. So that's amazing news for all of us that have been waiting for so long and we finally have some progress in regards to the game being released in the West. The next big piece of information that we got was the reveal of a brand new network test that will be taking place early next year. However, at the moment, the network test only has been announced for the Japanese region and will only allow access to 50,000 players. And it does look like it's going to be very popular considering the excitement around the game. Players that are invited will be able to have access to one additional account as well, meaning if you do get in, you can invite a friend to play with you. So it is kind of bittersweet to hear that the game will be playable in beta soon, but us western gamers will have a hard time getting access. We're sure a few of you will be resourceful enough to get in though, so let us know what was the last beta that you snuck into. The next major showcase of the stream though was to showcase all of the classes that are currently in Blue Protocol. Each of the classes focuses on a different aspect of traditional MMO gameplay and something that will make a lot of you that follow the channel very happy. Some of the classes seem to have parallels with different weapons that we get in Monster Hunter Hunter, but with an MMO flair to them. The first class that we have introduced was the Aegis Fighter. This class is a defensive tank focused one and the developers describe it as mastering sword and shield. Defense is the key in all aspects of this close proximity class. Make full use of skills to stop enemy attacks and advance the party in battle advantageously. This class is for players that want to be in the face of their enemy, being an immovable object that requires you to time your skills to deflect attacks. The next class we have is the Twin Striker. This is your more traditional DPS class, and to us it looks like the Aerial Jewel Blades from Monster Hunter. It's a short distance class that focuses on successive attacks that do more damage the more that you hit. This is for players that want to slash their way through everything. The next class that we have is one of two classes that we have in Blue Protocol for ranged players. This is the Blast Archer, and the developers describe it as a class that focuses on long distance shooting and is good at supporting parties. Use a variety of tactics such as weak point attacks and area attacks depending on the battle situation. If you guys don't already know, we love the bow here on the channel. It was one of my mains back in base rise recently, and it was an absolute ton of fun. Shooting your foes from afar while in safety and outputting tons of damage, and if it's anything like Monster Hunter, having that mobile aspect of the dodging is also really nice. But the next class looks even better for team ranged play, and maybe the one that I pick. Here is the description for the spell caster. You learn various attribute attacks such as fire, ice, and lightning. Its high power and attribute effects are more effective in party battles. This class looks absolutely awesome. I love any class that has flashy elemental magic focused attacks. I've always wondered why pick a character that just slashes away with a sword when you can literally throw fireballs and lightning bolts at your enemies. I love the flashy nature of many of the attacks for this class and I do hope that the other classes get just as flashy moves later on too. But then we have the last class that was shown which was the Heavy Smasher. This is the newest class in the game that was just added in within the last network test which happened in early 2021. This is a pretty weird class that we are interested in as it mixes both movement of a heavy weapon with some ranged capabilities by launching a massive ball that's attached to the weapon. The description for this one says, A super heavy hammer that can be fired is proof of its bravery that disturbs the front lines. Its powerful blow can shake the earth and protect its allies from hordes of enemies. Personally speaking, I don't normally pick the heavy weapons right off the bat, but this one looks like something new and interesting, so it has caught my eye and maybe it's something I need to try out sooner rather than later in case I'm going to miss out. There was a whole ton more information within this stream as they showed the character creator, some more gameplay, the photo mode, feedback changes from the last network test and more. They showed a lot overall and we'll do a follow up video with more information for you guys very soon. But for now we got some great news with the release date, the game looking amazing as well as the class information. When the global announcement for the game is revealed at the game awards we'll keep you guys updated so make sure to stay tuned by clicking like and subscribe down below. You definitely don't want to miss out because we're going to have you guys covered with all things 
JetBlue protocol. And the two videos on screen now, we think you're gonna really enjoy if you did enjoy this one. Of course, you don't have to if you don't want to, but the two on screen now will probably be right up your street if you did find this video interesting. And make sure to tell us what you think after watching in the comments down below.